All right, this is the first video for Pace 1126 of Algebra 2. And I'm going to just real quick introduce pages 1 through 7. There's not a lot of problem solving. It's Whenever I talk about this with my students, um, I just explain to them there's just a lot of new terminology. There's definitions that we need to master. And um, so one of them is here on page 2 and 3. It's the term relation. And that's a very specific mathematical term. And there are ways to determine if something is a relation. So just read through it carefully. Study the examples carefully. What you actually end up doing on the bottom of page 3 is pretty easy. Okay. On page 4, it talks about a function. And again, it's a definition. We're kind of developing logical thinking. So we're going to take the definition given here and then apply it to specific examples to determine is this a def is this a function or is it not a function? Okay. Um, so they have tests for you to use and explain those there on page four and page five. So functions are a special type of relation. That's what this. Um, Venn diagram at the bottom of page four is showing. So relations is a bigger group. Functions are like a subset of that group. It's a more stringent definition that we have to use. But again, it's really not hard. It's just different than you would expect. Okay. And now page six. <clears throat> Let's talk about page six and seven. It's talking about the inverse of a relation. And... Um, if they give you points, it's real easy, okay? You just take the X and the Y values and you just switch them, okay? And uh, so that, pff, I don't even need to talk about that. Let's talk very briefly, though, about the inverse of a line, the equation of a line. So here we have Y equals 3X minus 2, and in the next few pages, we're going to talk about graphing of lines. But for now, let's talk about how do we find the inverse. So there's two things that we do. <clears throat> First of all, we take the X and the Y, and we just swap them. Boom. Okay? So I'm going to put x out here equals 3y minus 2. Everything else stays the same. We just switch the x and the y. Then we're going to solve for y again. All right? So I'm going to bring the 2 over here. x plus 2 equals 3y. Now we're solving for y. So we need to isolate y. So we need to divide both sides by 3. Sometimes students find it easier, and we can do this. We can just flip the sides like this. Have the y on the left, x plus 2 on the right. That's fine. I mean, if it's easier to visualize it that way. And then you're going to, the last step is just divide by the 3, and we do the same thing to both terms. That cancels. Boom. All right, so you can finish that problem. There's three others of that type, and that's, that's all there is to it. It really isn't that hard. All right, we'll come back and do another video. This pace moves into graphing of uh, lines, and that uh, we've had before, but let's review it again, all right?